Here is something that is called the square up control. You have a card inserted in the deck and notice how you can instantly just have access to it. We'll put it face up, put it in the deck just like this and instantly we can just cut directly to the card itself. This time I control it second from the bottom. So see how depending on how you insert it and how you pull on it, this time I think I almost completely lost it, you can control it to the top, bottom or any other position. And you do this by the way that you square it in the deck. Notice that, here is not this one, it's the next one. Notice that when I square it up, I move it towards the left and then I square it so that I can have access to the card. So I push it towards the left and then I square it up, usually with my thumb, in order to have access to the card. Zoom and then zoom. I see many people perform this very badly. They push it here and then there. It's obvious. Let me just tell you, if you see anybody perform this move like this, it's obvious. I mean, the spectator can understand what you're doing. It's just too nice to tell you if you're doing that. It's supposed to look as if you're actually pushing it in the center. So if you do it fast, the spectator cannot actually comprehend what's going on, and that's different if you do it like that. But if you're doing it slow and it just looks like this, then the spectator will know what you're doing. Just let me tell you that. So, but at the beginning, do practice it slowly in order to understand what's going on. You can do it one-handed as well, of course. So, you are over here. You're pushing with your pinky, ring finger, middle finger towards the left. Once you're over here, you can use your thumb to pull, to pull down, push down on the card, and then push towards the right in order to square it up and have a card in jog. This is basically what we were doing over here with just the pinky, but this time we're going to get the card in position for our pinkies to reach in and latch onto those cards. And obviously from there it's just a matter of fact of just cutting in order to control the card where we want. So we have it over here, press towards the left, and then the thumb completes as we square up the deck. Notice that I go forward and then at the last moment I go in. So it doesn't start instantly from this position because that is obvious for everybody. It goes forward and then at the last moment it goes in. And once you do that fast, you're going to make it. This one was a bit uh, too fast. I lost it myself. So once you do that fast, I actually did it slow now <laughs> for some reason. So once you do that fast, you can actually make sure that it looks good from every angle and control it to any position that you wish. And that, guys, is uh, the push control. The, it definitely has an official name, but usually it's just uh, inserting a card and injugging a card. Injugging a card, probably, it's called from the old manuals of magic. We're just inserting the card and then you're injugging it, either with two hands or with one hand. So now you have a weapon that you can use in a variety of ways, either for controlling or for making sure that you don't lose track of a certain card. Obviously, please don't perform it like that. And then from that position, you can just take it or you can use it in preparation to pop the card out or there's a variety of things that you can use it from that position. Injogs are at the, the core of card magic. So make sure that you master them.